All right, you are not broken. Um, you talk all about it. What are the areas that you have to focus on the most? You feel like people need the most because if there are words that women don't know, what are those words? And then how do you convey to them they're not broken? Because we do feel like that's oftentimes coming into this this place, whether it's our mind, whether it's our our body, whether it's our weight gain, uh, brain fog. We do feel broken. Yeah, I, I really think communicating and people having our story be listened to, the power of stories, the power of listening, really and being like, oh, we're all in this together, living this human life and having this human experience. And it's awkward and it's messy and we don't know the words and we want to do it right. But really like having women talk and be like, oh, I didn't know that, it, it, you know, it's difficult to orgasm just with vaginal penetration, right? Like just understanding the basics of sex then they're like oh i'm not broken that's just not the way our bodies work another really common one is desire right women think mm -hmm. there's a certain amount of desire that they have to have and we're like well as we age if, especially if we're in long-term relationships that's more of a responsive desire than a spontaneous desire that we see in hollywood all the time to realize that's normal we can work with that right. you're not broken so to me education goes so far in realizing we're just having normal experiences in life, trying to figure something out that we didn't get any education in.